Hello again and welcome. It's me, me being Joy, Joy Ruffin, coming to you from the Sunshine State, Florida. It's always good to be with you. So am I saying to you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and maybe to a few of you, good night. But wherever you are, sending your way always the very, very best. This week, the Food for Thought is all about what most of us really love, adore, and cherish. And I should say maybe all of us, men. So today I thought we'd talk about the qualities and the traits that are attracting men to women. Today, as always, things are changing, and it might not be as much as what you thought it was some time ago as to the reality of what it is today. So you'll read the blog, and you'll get lots of new things that, traits I should say, that men are looking to that Maybe they're looking to more so than they did some time ago, but then I don't think so. I think the media has led many of us astray. But when you read the blog, you'll see that some of the qualities and traits that they're looking for, that they're attracted to, are not necessarily what you think of when you think of what men are attracted to right away. And one of the things that comes up and came up in many of the articles that was researched and read was the three that I'm going to list for you now that you'll read more about in the blog is your sense of style, your sense of confidence, and your originality. Now, the reality is that they all are in sync and they coincide with one another in many different ways. Being original and not following the crowd, not being a part of the group, the team, the tribe in this way is a good thing. Being a part of a tribe or a group or a team sometimes can be very, very good, but not in this manner that we're talking about today. The law of attraction when it comes to attracting a mate, a partner, a companion, and so on. So your sense of style, it doesn't mean that you stepped right off of the runway from Vogue or Amaze or Oscar de la Renta or Yves Saint Laurent and all of the others that are so popular today. It has nothing to do with that. So you'll read the blog and you'll find out what we mean by style, originality, and your sense of self-confidence. And surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, because I think you know this, confidence comes up high on the list. And it doesn't mean cocky, it doesn't mean arrogant, and it doesn't mean being snobbish, which many times, contingent upon the environment and the situation, people take for confidence. It has nothing to do with one's own sense of self-confidence. So what I want you to do, as you always do, is read the blog. As I like to say, take a good read, enjoy, and then share it with others and build a conversation around it. It's always good for conversation. And wherever you are, you know by now, sending your way the very, very best, wishing you the best, and asking you, first and foremost, to look after you. Do a good job. Do it well. Because when you do, you'll be able to look after many, many others. So be well and take care until we connect the next time. Bye-bye for now. All the best. Cheers.